Part time wife. Good morning. Good morning. Why are you still here? I'm... We had a deal. We had... We I get it. This. I get it. We all need something. But you have to leave. Please. Just a little more time. No. No more time. Please but leave. please. Leave right now. Leave. Mrs. Vasilyevna, did you uh, leave your car in the shop yesterday? Shoot. I forgot. My head is spinning. I'm fed up with everyone. Miss, I need a taxi right now. Right now, I said. What do you mean, 20 minutes? I need a taxi, not a donkey. Unbelievable. Mrs. Vasilyevna. Hello, give me a minute. Taxi? What do you mean, wrong number? You're a taxi service. Aren't you supposed to be working? Mrs. Vasilyevna, would you like me to give you a ride? Who are you? Well, what do you mean, who? I'm Nina, Medea's housekeeper. Don't you remember me? Did Medea send you? No, she didn't, and she actually fired me. Okay, just tell me later. Where's your car? Uh, over there. Hurry, dear. No, oh, okay, let's go. The number you are trying to reach is out of service. Sweetie, pass this idiot. We're gonna be late. Why are we in such a rush? My son needs me. It's urgent. I see. Oh. <sighs> Not bad. Thanks. That's good driving. Can you go faster? Well, I could, but there are cameras on every street. I'll get many tickets. Honey, I'll take care of it. Come on, hurry. Okay. I've been living in a fairy tale. I had two sons, a smart one and a foolish one. Kept acting like fools after school. Was he lazy? I wish he was. He was a pain in the neck. I could hardly get him to study in a university. So many times he tried to escape from there. He ditched his exams, and I went to the head of the school, and they agreed to accept him. But no, forget you, Mommy. He disappeared from radar. Doesn't answer his phone, and the university exam isn't an hour. Well, do you really think he's okay? He's fine, safe and sound. I've got eyes everywhere, dear. He's like being watched by something more powerful. Oh, that's fine. I'll come grab him and take him to the university. I'm not gonna buy him a diploma like Medea did for Garrick. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't want to drive all around Moscow. Medea's got a husband. And a brother, too. And a father-in-law. She'll hook Garrick up somewhere. And I'm all alone with my burden for my entire life. And the older son doesn't... he help at all? What can he do? The elder son, thank God he's abroad. He's got work and family there. I don't want to load him down with all of my problems. Ooh. I guess we'll be late for sure now. Good morning. morning. You'll have to wait. There's an accident. Perfect. Now we'll definitely be late. And what if we can take a shortcut? Where? There's nowhere to go here. And what's that? What's this road and where does it go? No, it goes through a village, but it's hardly a road, only potholes. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Children, wake up. What do you mean? Where did they come from? Are you crazy? Driving kids without baby chairs? That's wrong. Hey there, guys. Good, Good morning. morning. Fasten your seatbelts. Mom, are we chasing someone? No. 
You see, we are taking a shortcut. Got it. Your boys are quite witty. Do you always take them with you? For the last two days. Hold on tight. Well, we... we did it in 20 minutes, right? Good for you, dear. What's your name? Nina. Thank you, Nina. Mrs. Vasilyevna, I'd like to talk No, with not today, dear. There's no time. Come in two days. We'll talk. Wait! Take the money. No, I didn't drive you here for the uh -huh, money. Yeah. Please, no. Just take it. It'll be enough for the tickets and candies for the children. Go make a toast to my health at your home. We are going home. We don't have a home anymore. Because of Medea. Yeah. For some reason, she phoned the apartment owner and said something. I recognize my malicious friend. Let's go. We'll figure Stop looking at my phone. <sighs> and that's my mom without any doubt. By my side, I said. I'm coming, coming. What? Ah, well, it's because I forgot my keys. Buffy, come here. Say it. Couldn't you just tell me that he's here? Do I have to find everything out from other people? I'm not a spy. You shouldn't be one either. Oh, come on, dear. Go, follow me. Go make some coffee for my son. It'll come in handy. I'll be waiting for you. It's okay. Go. I'll keep my eyes on the boys. Go on. Is it okay. a boy Thank or you. a girl? It's a girl. A girl, I think. Don't be afraid. No, sit, girl. Buffy, behave, Buffy! Sit, Buffy. Uh, <laughs> hello, Mother. Hi, I'm Nastya. Sweetheart, you promised not to bring trash over here. Oh, that's not very polite. Maybe she's not just a piece of trash. Maybe she's something special. Maybe she could be... Maybe she could be my bride. <laughs> and maybe tomorrow... We'll file an application, and then we'll get married. Igor, is that true, dear? <laughs> Shut up, no one asked you. You will get married, only when and with whom I say, understand? Mother, are you serious? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, you bring your servants with you. It's okay. Come on, come here. Come here, put it here. Put it here for him. <laughs> Go groom yourself, and stop calling me mother. Willingly. That is if you stop calling me your baby. And I like the way you're speaking to her. It sounds so, so cute. Children, calm down! Mother, by the way, I cannot go to the exam. I had an incredible dream where we, me and you, we go along the green meadow and the gentle green grass, and suddenly out of nowhere, a ravine. I looked into it, and my head started spinning. And you pushed so lightly, and I fell, and even, you know, in my opinion, I plunged to my death. How terrible. It's because you slept too much. My nanny used to say, the longer you sleep, the more nonsense you will dream. You see, Mother? Stop goofing around, will you? Shoot! 
I am constantly doing the impossible so that you can get into school. But you don't even dare to lift a finger. The only thing left is to pass the last exams, go abroad for an internship, and finally get this diploma. Are you capable of that? Do I even have a choice? You have me by the throat and won't let go. I won't let go. When you have your freedom, all you do is party around with trashy girls. You haven't even given me a chance. What about that, mother? Oh, but I have. Eight years ago. You embarrassed me in front of all of Moscow. Get dressed or you'll freeze. Everything's done. A taxi will pick up the girl in about 10 minutes. Well done, dear. It's time to go. A taxi? Why? Am I... am I not staying with you? No, as you see. Mm. Oops. Mm. Oops, I am really sorry. My hands are shaking. Crazy lifestyle. I just can't help it. It's okay. I'll wash it off. <laughs> My dear, you're a pretty smart girl, you know that? You think quickly, drive safely. Your boys are well-groomed. Generally speaking, I like you. So, I want to use you as my housekeeper. I only come over here sometimes, not always. Alexei's our guy. He takes care of the yard and the garden. But this house needs a woman's touch, you know? A, a bit of coziness, warmth, being a host, receiving guests, do you agree? Of course. And in the village, can I rent a flat somewhere so I don't have to drive from the city? Flat? Why? There are rooms for servants in the house. So you mean we may live here? Of course, dear. That's what I said. And you know I... I don't have anyone to rely on, and you are a reliable person. Mrs. Vasilyevna, I won't let you down. Good. Welcome home. Can I give you a hug? You can park your car in the backyard. Okay. You can congratulate me. I just found us a housekeeper. You couldn't make a spy out of Uncle Alexei, so you found one. You're paranoid and arrogant. Open the door. I'm here to serve you, Mother Queen. can live a normal life in this house. Too kind of you. Eh. Today it will be enough. Even for dinner. It won't be like the last time. You know, you could at least spare my... my fishing pride. I'm gonna show it to the boys. They're sleeping. I'll put them in the bathtub. Then, they'll have a surprise when they wake up. Buffy. Aha, Buffy, hi. Hello. Oh, why are you so frightened? Even the dog knows me. Buffy, introduce me to the girl. Buffy says I'm Anton, and who are you? Look out! Whoa, whoa. You almost fell right there. Be careful. Hello? Oh, hey, Alexi. Please tell this girl she shouldn't be afraid of me. Well, it depends. If I were a young, beautiful girl, I don't know what I'd do. Come on. Hello, how's it going? Nina, let me introduce you to our famous neighbor, Anton. He is a sportsman, a champion. And simply perfect Lots. and handsome. Don't praise me so much. The girl might think bad of me. Okay, that's enough. Kids may wake up. Let's go to my place. You'll tell me about your trip. Did you get the seed you promised? I did. All right. So let's go. 
And maybe the girl got a well, husband? there's no sign of him yet. We'll find out. This is encouraging. Look at how much they shine in the water. <laughs> yeah, this is a crucian fish. It's a pretty one. They love swimming around the water, don't they? <laughs> and what about that one? What is he? I don't know. I haven't seen it before. It's a perch. Moscow perch. Hello, ma'am. I apologize. We made an aquarium here. Alexei just got some fish and we... He would do something like that. By the way, when you see him, tell him that I want to talk with him. And he should pick up the phone when I call. Hey, what about this one? Ah, oh, that one. It's a young bream. And little sharks. <laughs> they exist well. So tiny and cunning as you are. Ah. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> now. Let's see what we have here. Yes, I said that. So what if you misunderstood me? I am your boss, but what does it change? I'm not going to cover my ass for you. Do you understand? This conversation is over. I'm going to hang up. <clears throat> thank you. I wasn't mistaken about you. The house changed. Do the children like it so here? So much. Thank you, Mrs. Vasilyevna. I just can't thank you enough. Do remember my kindness, dear. That's it. People often forget to be grateful for what they receive. And what's this? A cap. The neighbor forgot. And why was he here? Did he come for you? For Alexei. Yeah. Yes, let me see. Mm-hmm. Thanks, everything's here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll fix it. Well, let's meet on Monday and sign. No, I definitely will not forget. What's up, Alexi? Well, why did Anna come? She says she has to rest, but she's constantly working, like all the time. What an amazing woman. She is so nice. Her employees yeah, do what uh, she asks. She built this house and supports her children as well. Yeah, she did all of that. Pretty amazing. Well, okay. Oh, look. It's the neighbor's cat. Oh, thank you. I'll take it. Hmm. It'll take a long time before I come here again. I've got plenty of things to do, take care of. He still hasn't passed his exams? He's got the hardest one tomorrow. If only I knew. If only I knew he would pass the exam. And as for the neighbor, stay away from him, dear. He, he's so nasty. Believe me. Well, I need to go. I'll see you later. <sighs> Hop on the back seat. Those bags you're carrying look pretty heavy. They're not heavy at all, and I'm not tired. And why are you always running away from me, Nina? Too long to How explain. How mysterious you are. Let me ask you, do you tie your hair? <laughs> It happened accidentally. The stylist dyed it for a photo shoot. Everyone liked it, and so did I. My hairdresser still dyes it, but I don't know why. I see. Here, take the potatoes. 
Anton dropped in while you were at the shop. He was asking about you. And he is a champion indeed. Olympic one. But now he's a sports businessman. He builds sports facilities. What are you trying to say? Actually, to be honest, Anton is a really good guy, and a lot of women like him, and some, well, some really fall for him. They go crazy for that guy. Where's my towel? Hmm? I left this it here This girlfish looks amazing. Ah. Ah. Right in time for lunch. You can have a seat anywhere. Igor, are we going to eat with the servants? <laughs> you. <laughs> hey. Well, no, I'm not going to participate in it, says Rami and spreads his black wings. I'll... Hey. Shh, close your eyes. My kids are sleeping. Well, good for them. Why don't you go to sleep? <laughs> are you spying on me? You've got the exam tomorrow, and yet you don't even care. Think of your mom. Ah, you sound like a real housekeeper. Dear Freckenbach, I am preparing for the exam with all my might. I can see that. If you want people to believe you, then don't tell the truth. I'm so bored. I'm gonna fall asleep here. Don't sleep, and don't be bored. We're running out of time. What do you mean? My mother is coming. But does she know that you're here? Not yet. But this one is going to rat on us. Good evening, Mrs. Vasilyevna. Yes, he's here. Uh, he is preparing for his exam? He told me so. Sure, I won't interrupt. Have a good night. Lady Nina. Good morning. I've decided to try my luck. Would you be so kind as to accompany me to the lake and back? Sure, okay. Just a minute. I'll wait. Oh, Anton, how are you? Hello. Are you here for Alexi? No, for Nina. Um, who's that? Don't you even know the name of your splendid housekeeper, Igor? Come on. I'm ready. After you. <clears throat> oh, wait. Allow me. Thank you. No. Hey there, Bogdan. Hey, how you doing? Fine. See ya. Hi, guys. What's up? How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? All right. Hey, hi, friend. 
what's this? An A student doesn't consider it necessary to greet other Why did you come? What do you mean? You'll definitely get the English internship. What are you talking about? Don't even bother asking. Paulina. Wait, 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 Paulina. Come on now, there will be other chances. Stop pretending, it's disgusting. I wasn't even called for the interview. Igor! Igor, why are you so late? I've been waiting for you. Come on, hurry. <laughs> hey, let me help you with that. How Here. did the sun set already? Everyone's inside the house. Inside the house. This is so much fun. Oh god, this is gonna be the greatest. <laughs> I love these. I hope parties. it doesn't get cold now that the sun is set. So excited I was invited. What's going on? I'm leaving for the army, Alexei. It's a going away party. What the hell are you talking about? Come on. What about school? Alexei, game over. That old chapter in my biography is crossed out and forgotten. Period. Are you drunk? No. I'm outrageously sober. Half a day looking for booze to properly have a going away party. We didn't find it. We'll have to drink whiskey. I can do nothing about it. Did you tell your mother? Why should I? It's my life. Mine. Kids, please eat up and get ready to go over to Alexi's place. Nice jacket. You'll spend the night there. Cheers. A patty for Buffy? Have you finished? Good. Get dressed. Nina, don't call Anna. Let Igor figure this out himself. Don't wait for me to plan our wedding. Why? What do you mean? I love you. Oh, come on. Why? Don't you love me? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't love anybody but yourself. You think you're so cool and independent. You're, you're just a mama's boy. If she stopped giving you money, you'd have nothing. Except for sex, you can't seem to do anything else. You're such a jerk. Go sleep it off. Are you just here spying on me? You're starting to annoy me. Quit sniffing me out like some kind of rat. Good evening, Mrs. Vasilyevna. Did I wake you up? I'm listening. Yes, General. I'll be right there.
Good evening to you, my handsome colonel. You look like you're ready for some action. I'm as ready as I can be. You surely need something from me. I want to know as much as I can about this. Shall I help you? Shall I? I'm a free woman, and I live however I want. No, I'm asking, what are you doing here? Where are the guests? Already left, and so should you. Leave the guy alone. Let the man live his own life. You, you're not helping at all. You're just making his behavior worse. A mother cannot do any harm. I won't let him ruin his life, you understand? I'll find a way out. But of course you will. No one even doubts your potential. You are the best person for the job. <sighs> I'm even amazed at how Oleg managed to stay away with you out of the country. Hello, Mrs. Vasilyevna. Good evening, Alexei. Buffy, come here. Come here. Buffy, stop. Stop, come with me. Come with me, Buffy. Hello. He actually came yesterday to the military enlistment office. He even brought a document from the university about his studies. Said he didn't study anymore. He insisted to pass the medical board. The conclusion? He's fit for service. We'll have to call him up. Are you insane? I spent so much money to get him enlisted in the army. What will people say? That I could not save my son from the army? Don't exaggerate. He'll serve a year. He's a sports guy, a strong one. Why are you so against him joining the army? Is he mentally ill? Or a father of two small children? How can you not let someone join the army if he wants to? I don't understand. I don't even want to listen to it. Shoot! Oh, my goodness! <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, my goodness. <sighs> you can't catch me. You can't catch yes, me. Yes, I will. Uh, hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Are you okay? Uh, Do you feel sick? I'm really Can bad. I bring really you bad. Water? water. Some water. Uh, hey, guys, stand still. Come here. Look here. <laughs> you guys are so cute. So cute. So cute. Huh? Ah, I'm cute. Mm. <laughs> so cute. Drink some water, Mrs. Facilia. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. You wanted to talk with me? Yeah, I do. Let's go, guys. Come on. Okay, don't, don't, don't leave. You are involved as well. Eager. If this Take talk is about the army, it's out of the question. Everything is settled. It's done. I won't survive. <laughs> Mom, no, stop it. I, I won't survive. I won't survive. What are you doing to me? Igor, honey, no, don't, 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 don't do it. Igor, no, no, wait, stop no, intimidating no, wait. Me. Just tell him to wait. Tell him, tell him. What's no, he doing? No, I can't stand crying. Stop it, Mom. Enough. I have never asked you for anything. Please. Mother. What are you doing to me? Could you imagine what happens? I'll be left alone. I'll end up all alone when you go come away on, to the army. Oh, How could you? Cry. Think of your mother. Please I'll become cry. insane with everything that happens there. I don't understand why you're doing this to me after all I've done for there you. There is no, no going no, back. You don't understand. I'm going to get the draft notice soon. Maybe no. even today, okay? What is it that you don't understand? I cannot stay. I don't want to, and I can't. I've got no formal reason. Yes, you do. You will have two children. You will marry a woman that has two children, her. I will take care of this. It will be a legal wedding. <sighs> you
You should read and go over the marriage settlement. Why? I believe you. There is an item there, Nina. In case of divorce, I do not claim the property of my husband, as well as alimony for myself and my children. For sure. Good. In two years, Igor's military age will come to an end, and you'll divorce. Yeah, okay. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Well, I have to thank you somehow, don't I? That's why I say thank you. Now a kiss! A kiss! Good! What a beautiful couple. Such a great family you are. Yeah. Why are you dressed up like this? Mommy. For my wedding. A nice suit. My sweet bride-to-be. <laughs> oh, a clown. After you? When a housewife feels depressed, she starts cleaning what she already has cleaned up. Alexei, not again. But still, the amazing woman that she is, the outstanding one, she was able to twist you and Igor around her little finger. You got it all wrong, because she didn't. I just returned a favor for her. Hey, whatever. You're not the first, and won't be the last. I promise you that. Buffy, come here. I have a surprise. The boys ran further this time and with excellent results. You got here so quickly and dinner's not ready. Got it. If you guys promise to behave, we can go to the lake. Do you promise? Promise. Great. Follow me. Hey, stop. Slow down. I said follow me. All right, come on. you come here. I came to celebrate our wedding. You didn't allow me to celebrate the set off, so I have to celebrate the wedding. <laughs> where are the guests? Hello, where are the guests? No guests. <laughs> no one. Who's supposed to say, you may now kiss? Come here. Are you insane? How much did my mommy pay you to marry me? Was it a lot of money? I wouldn't marry you for a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> you despise me, don't you? You do. Well, you still married me. Come here. You're crazy. Come with me. Come on now, let's go. Where are you dragging me? Where? To the bedroom, of course. <laughs> Where are you going, my love? Please don't. You don't want? You don't want to go to the bedroom? <laughs> Let's do it here. I don't mind. <laughs> no, I don't mind. <laughs> wife. Come on, baby. Are you wife or not? Oh, <sighs> 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 oh it's now.
Stop. What did I tell you? First we do what? We ask permission. Mommy, Mommy can we, can have, we have dinner, dinner please? please? Sure you can, but go wash your hands. You've got two good boys. If they're raised properly, they'll end up doing well in life. It's very tough to bring up men. Why's that? Because usually everything changes. They learn and then they forget. I can teach them something, but when they become men, they'll forget everything I taught them. It's very hard to be a mother. Well, my habits remain the same. I can teach the boys everything I know, so rest assured, Nina. Everything will be fine with your kids. <laughs> oh, so you don't like me. Can you explain? No. No, I don't not like you. It's just... Anton, I didn't mean that. I just can't explain everything right now. You're just creating things in your head about me. But we need to get to know each other better. So... So... <gasps> for the first time, I met a woman who's disgusted with me. Well, I suppose I'll stop bothering you. That's not who I am. <laughs> Anton! Anton! Puppy. Why? To teach him things. When he grows up, he will be as smart as Buffy. Mm -hmm. When Buffy was a puppy, Igor trained her. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> but it would have been better if Buffy was the one that trained me instead. So tell me, how did you get home yesterday? I don't remember anything. My head is buzzing right now. <laughs> it's as if someone smashed the side of my head. <laughs> he doesn't remember anything. Don't worry. I remember the wedding. It's pretty difficult to forget, but everything else... <laughs> hey boys, whomever finishes eating will go with me to saw up the dry branches. Yeah, I'm finished. That doesn't count. Your mouth is full, so I'm the first one. Hey, hey, I'll find one more saw. Come on, let's go. Coffee. <sighs> Are you nuts? You don't remember anything, huh? And this here you also don't remember? What? What should I remember? What's that? Me? <laughs> Sorry, but it can't be. I, I would never hit a woman. I would never hit a woman. Even a woman like you, I could never hit. No matter how annoying you were. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't mean that. I mean, I, I would never punch 
I would never punch a woman like that, even if she offended me. You understand? How did I offend you? And what did I do, huh? Huh? Maybe because I helped you and your mother out? Maybe it was a stupid decision and I married a bastard who can drink all day long and get wasted. Then come home and hit a woman in the face and try and rape her and act like he doesn't remember anything. No. Yeah. Baby, it's me. I was at the university and organized everything. You'll continue studying, but don't flatter yourself. I won't let you act like a fool. Get some rest and then be prepared to go back to very hard work, will you? Goodbye. Here. Aye. Take this. We can only saw the dry branches. If you see at least one green stem, then you leave it alone. Do you understand? Okay. No. We hold the saws down. Alexi. Alexi, can you please give me something hard to work on? You're sick. You can't even imagine. Come, I'll change you. You're not digging in these kind of clothes, right? Go on. So, did you get sick of vodka or just yourself? It doesn't matter. It does, because if you're sick of vodka, you'll be fine this evening. If it's yourself, then it'll take at least a week. <sighs> so which is it? I mean, should I call the workers or not? I'm disgusted with myself. I want to be put in the ground. And I want to stay there. So I won't call the workers for a while. driving <laughs> where do I change the speed where do I put the key <laughs> it starts without a key see the button wow. wow cool have you ever been in an accident a plague on you for saying such things why a plague <laughs> that's what you say when you don't want something I get it, but it already happened. Our dad was in an accident a long time ago. We were very little then. So your mom is a widow? Our mom is absolutely the best. Such a cool driver. She is beautiful. Very beautiful. Miss Vasilievna is very beautiful as well. Even though she's old. <laughs> Do you have a daddy? I did. He died when I was finishing school. He was an older man and had a gray beard. A beard? Was he a priest? Not a priest. He was a professor. Guys, I don't even know your names. What are they? Koshka. Yoshka. Igor. Oh. Well, dinner is served. 
No, Nina, don't. Just let me go. Nina, please. Just a second, Nina. Hold on, wait. Listen to me, please. Nina, I... I... I don't know how it happened. I've never drank so much in my life. You must believe me. May I go? Nina, I just... I just... Just listen to me, Nina! Anton! Good morning! Anton! I'd like to talk to you! Anton! 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 Wait! Please! Anton! Why are you acting like a child? Oh, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. I can't take it. I'm listening. Go on. No. The fact is that... You're very... Anton, you're very similar to my late husband. Well, just very much alike. I'm looking at you, but I see him, you understand? Do you still love him? I hate my ex-husband. There was a van that drove into his car. Parked on the roadside. The van driver fell asleep. And they died together. My husband and his mistress, he was on top of her. And that's when it happened. They were taken out together and I saw it. I was there. Stop, that's enough. That's why I left. Every single person comes to say they're sorry for my loss, and they almost laugh as they say it. The town is so small that they won't forget. If I were alone, I would have patience. I took the children away, so they wouldn't know. Look at me. Look. Yes, I look like him. And so what? I'm not him. My friend looks like Schwarzenegger, but he isn't. I keep telling myself it all the time. Hold on. Calm down. Relax. Hello. Here to see someone? Maybe. Does Igor live here? He does. Come in, please. You see, Igor's phone was turned off and he won't pick up his home phone. So I asked some friends and then I thought there might be a chance that he's over here. And how could you pass the checkpoint? It's very strict. I made a deal with the security staff. But I had to leave my passport with him. I came to discuss something personal. Sure, he's there in the garden. Oh, oh Paulina. Thank you so much. Mohan, no, don't worry. It's fine. I thought that you were a jerk. I was wrong. I came here to say that to you. Paulina, what are you talking about? Did you get an interview for the internship? Yesterday at the dean's office, they told me you denied the English internship for me. <laughs> Paulina, I hope you're not going to give me your body and soul as gratitude. I wouldn't feel right about it. Shut up. You're still <laughs> a jerk. Can I give you a ride? 
Why? The station is very close by and I can read on the train. Paulina, you are such a nerd. <laughs> Look, thank you one more time. I was already planning to be a cook at my brother's. What? So you like to cook? My brother's a cook. He works in a ship. Mm -hmm. Thought that if it didn't work out in England, I'd take a year off and go to sea. You're crazy, Paulina. <laughs> I sympathize with the British. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, excuse me? Are you a security guard? <laughs> Why are you looking for a guard? My entire family lives overseas. My mom is abroad. And here I just live with dad and guards. Got it. So where is your daddy? There. Uh-huh. So, would you like to come over? <laughs> I can't do that without my daddy. That's very smart of you. What a clever little girl. Go inside. There is a girl, Nina. Ask her to call the checkpoint, and I'll bring the girl there. Okay? So, sweetie. Let's try and find your daddy. <laughs> hey. And there's your dad. My dog. daddy! Oh, what's wrong You're with you? All right. <sighs> Listen here, you filthy peasant. You touched or hurt my daughter in any way, I'll bury you alive. You understand me? Well, it's better for you, Digger, to look after your daughter. <clears throat> you understand? What? Hey, Mark, hold her. Guys, that's enough. Are you gonna tell me what to do? Come on, stop. You telling me? Ugh. Ugh. Hey! Ugh. Get Whoa. your hands off my hey. husband! Uh, hey. Hey. What are you doing? Leave! Fine, fine, fine! Leave now! All right, get in the Get car. out of here! Before I call the police! Are you okay? Yeah, they're fine. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Does it hurt? Paulina, get out of my face. It hurts more because of you. Come on, watch it. Press it. Look, can you bring the ointment from the bathroom, please? Why did you call me husband? Because it works. My ex-husband used to get into fights all the time. So I had to help out. Thank you. <laughs> well, now you're going to be wounded too. <laughs> Not only me. <laughs> husband and wife live the same life. <laughs> Thank you. A train to Moscow in 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> You're very lucky. So are you. Uh-huh. You're very lucky with your wife. I really don't know what she saw in you. My wife. I'm lucky. Let's ride it! Yeah, let's ride. Hey, don't touch the motorcycle. Just look at it, okay? Nice choice. Our neighbor got us the seeds for these flowers. Going on a date? Uh-huh. I am. proposed yet. If I had, I'd be married, Nina. It seems that someone has arrived. Or left. Don't. 
Don't avoid the question. Just listen to me. Don't play games with my heart. I've done this too many times. What games, Anton? Listen. You don't have a house or a home. You're a mother of two. While you're washing other people's floors, your whole life will fly by and you won't notice. So what's wrong? Tell me what's wrong. Nothing. All right. If some other woman were in your shoes right now... She would rush into it? Is that what you're saying? No. You're not getting my point here. I'm getting it, all right. You're my husband even more than I thought. Leave. You should go. What is this, huh? You guys did it, guys? Was it you? Hey, what happened? Is it okay? Well, is everything fine? Yeah, but the mirrors. Didn't I tell you not to get on the motorcycle, huh? Well done. Hey, don't touch him. Come here and look. Do you know how much this costs? How much? You don't have that kind of money. I don't. The hell are you doing? What are you doing? Anton, please. Just go home, okay? Get in the house. Why did you go and get on his bike after Anton told you not to do it? And why did Anton come? He had a proposal to make. What kind of proposal? Of marriage. Well, that's nonsense. Hey, boys. Wash your hands and we'll be having dinner. Hey, come with me. Come on, come on. Do you remember what we agreed on? That in the next two years, you and my son will not get a divorce. Mrs. Vasilyevna, you just probably I understood you me. correctly. A rich, handsome man paid attention to you. Are you crazy? Forget about everything? No, I refused it. To whom did you refuse? Anton, you? Yeah, I don't like... Not don't like... <sighs> we just aren't a good match. Him? Not a good match. No, it can't be. <laughs> Tell me why. Are you so full of yourself? You are nothing but a servant. Do you understand me? You are a scrub woman. You're crazy. You're a crazy lady. And so full of yourself, let me tell you. Only you would decline him. He's not a good match. Any other woman would be grateful. Get out of my sight. Go take care of your duties. Our queen finally left. Here, have some of my tea. There's some lemon and currant leaves. It's supposed to calm you down and help you sleep better. Thanks. <sighs> Alexei, yeah. could you tell me, did Anna and Anton ever have a romantic relationship? Relationship? <laughs> it was too short of a story to tell. Anton could understand there was nothing interesting. The man is quick-witted. <sighs> Not like the others. I forgot to tell you that she wanted me to tell you to call her immediately. I'm afraid she'll just have to wait. What is it? She wants to sell this mansion and, and cover up some other scams. Apparently you need a little bit of money to do that. No one is cooperating with her. But it's her house. Mm-mm. The land belongs to her first husband and uh, Oleg, the eldest son, built the house. By the way, with his own money. And Igor's father built the Moscow flat. A holy man he was. And where is her first husband? Is he dead or something? Hmm? Why dead? I'm alive. And I'm not going to change it. You? Yes, me. When Oleg was leaving abroad, he asked me to look after the mansion. 
My wife is currently staying there with him, taking care of the grandchildren. By the way, Oleg has a great relationship with his stepmother. Not so much with his mother. Baby, shh, 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 shh. Oh. it's me. Why are you here? I didn't want to interrupt. I was afraid you weren't alone. Do I hear that from you? My good boy. Mm. <laughs> By the way, scars suit you. You're getting older, son. Come out, let's go home. Come on. Baby, in three days I go to Spain, for a whole month. Stay here in the apartment. No one will disturb you. You'll be fine. I know it. But I'm begging you, do not bring anyone to the apartment. I do not like it, you know. I feel very uncomfortable Mom, when... I'm not gonna be here for long. I just came to take my external passport, and... What do you need your passport for? I'm going to visit Oleg. Wait, what do you mean, Oleg? Has anything happened? Mm -mm. Did something happen in the country house? Did Alexei offend you? Mom, how could Alexei offend anyone? Well, who then? <sighs> Is it the fake wife? Mm, well, that's it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very clear. No, nothing surprising. It's clear you do not know what to expect from her in the next minute. Do not worry. I'll settle everything. I'll give her a different room. Don't worry Mom, about a stop thing. stop it with this. No one offended me. You and I are the ones that offended a good person. We used all her devotion and her hard work while still insulting her. What we did wasn't right, Mom. What are you talking about? Hmm? Nina, my wife, Nina. Hmm. Maybe you are right. Indeed, it's not good. Son, I'll settle everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm asking you so kindly. Don't go stay with Oleg. What if you don't come back to me? Mm -hmm. Don't go. Stay with me. Good morning, honey. <clears throat> Look. Sorry about yesterday. I don't know what was wrong with me. I was probably PMSing. Could you understand me as a woman? Will you forgive me or not? Good morning, Mrs. Vasilyevna. Great, that's nice. I'd like to have a word with you. Let's go. You see, honey, <clears throat> I'm pleased with you saving Igor from the army. I really am. But the thing is, whatever we do for him, um, have a seat. He feels unhappy. I have nothing to do with this. What do you mean you have nothing to do with this? He got carried away by you. Mrs. Vasilyevna, I don't understand these kinds of jokes. I kid you not. I can see him suffering. That's why I'm asking you to help me one more time. Not for free, no, not this time. I will not use your unselfishness. It's not right. You have children. You need money. I will pay. I'll pay you well. For what? Mm, well, you know what? You are married only on paper. What prevents you from having matrimonial duty? Do you get it? No, I don't get it. Don't pretend, dear. You understand everything. Take the money. Come on. There's a lot of it. Be gentle and affectionate with him. I want him in your bed to forget about everything. And the most important thing is him not leaving anymore. Mrs. Vasilyevna. Hello? No, no, no. Don't sign no, anything about my presence. Me. I'm Mrs. on my Vasilyevna. way to the office. Wait. 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 Please. Wait until I come. Do we leave the...
the fish? Yes, son. We won't be able to take them to the aquarium. He's coming now. Mom, can Mom. I take the fish, please? Goshka, I've already told you. How could you take it to the car? Do not drag it. What's going on? We're leaving. Where? Well, we're going to my aunt's. What happened? Alexei, could you please pass this envelope to Mrs. Vasilyevna? Tell her I failed to deliver what I had promised her. Mom, look, we can take it now. <gasps> Are you okay, Gushka? What happened? Uh, my leg. Uh, my leg it hurts. hurts. Did you go shopping for the family? Hey, 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 hey. My mom said that there was something about the taming of the shrew. She was very cheerful, as if she played a dirty trick, didn't she? Go to hell, both of you. I wish I'd never known you. You're both bad people. Well, from the looks of it, she did play it. We wanted to leave, but Goshka fell from the porch and broke his leg. Now, he has to sit at home. My mom has been crying, but now she keeps silent. And why did you want to leave? Mom didn't tell us, but Goshka and I think it's because of you. Goshka, you'll have to eat this. It's going to make your bones strong. I don't want to. Take me to the toilet. The doctor did not allow you to go. Let's go potty, huh? Mom, no. Okay, I'll take you there. No, no. Okay. I'll ask Alexi. I'll take him. Please don't. Mom, let Igor do it. I really need it. Doctor permitted, let's go. I forgot how to. <laughs> For three weeks? Don't make me laugh, my friend. Come on. Well done, well done, neatly. Hold on, I don't hold it, do it yourself. Yourself. Well done, Goshka, well done. Mommy! Mom, look, I can walk! Oh, you're my hero. How can I reward you, huh? Apple pie, could you please? Maybe just an apple? You know my pies really aren't that great, sweetheart. I'll help. It's like a puzzle. Quest. It's necessary to pass several levels. First, sift the flour. Then add salt, sugar. It seems small, but each one changes everything. After that, you need the dough. Yet you don't know what will come of it. And the dough already lives its own life. And back to the flour and salt, it cannot be disassembled. Then you understand it's time. We need to take on the pies, otherwise the dough can be thrown away. Scary. What if it doesn't work? There is such a danger. But you already passed almost all levels. A little more, and the quest is unraveled. If you stop, you'll regret it your whole life. Tastes good. 
There is a hope that everything will turn out okay. Guys, do either of you want any more apples? Such a good harvest this year. done to hurt you this is happiness I did not know that this can happen mm -hmm. it can <laughs> Look at me like that. Why? Because I feel weird when you look at me like that. I'm not used to having someone look at me like the way you're looking at me right now. And if I want to look at you like that? You can do whatever you want. <laughs> but not like that. Last year, we gathered the whole harvest together. My wife Lydia was there, but right now she's abroad. I just want to say, I couldn't have done it without you. I can't thank you both enough. Do you have this many crops every year? No. This year, exceptional. Who knows? A nice autumn. I think it's a very good one. Mommy, mommy! Mrs. Vasilyevna came. She is looking for Igor. Let's go. Go. I'll be right there. Listen, be brave, all right? Alexei, can you give me the envelope I asked you to give to Mrs. Vasilyevna? Let's go. Come here. There, like that. Go. Oh. How crazy. Igor and Nina behaving. Like they're lovers. What a stupid woman you are. You can't see any further than the end of your nose. They are not... Lovers, they are in love. Anna, can you even tell the difference? Can you? Excuse me, do you have a moment? I need to talk to you. Mrs. Vasilyevna, here's your money. Take it back, please. I don't need it. Uh-huh. Take it, take it. You shouldn't have left then. 
Take it. I'm serious. Thank you. Igor, baby. Mom. Hello. Were you looking for me? I was, baby. Would you like to go on a walk with me? Go on a walk? Hmm. Okay. Good. Do you remember us walking with your father? <laughs> do you? Of course you I like do. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, baby, I'm sorry. I feel endlessly selfish. How could I not let you go and travel abroad? There is so much beauty nowadays in Norway. Go if you want, even tomorrow. I'll go to London. Oleg is waiting for us, just after Goshka gets better. Goshka? Why Goshka? I don't understand. Mom, I'm going there with my wife and children. That's nonsense. What are you talking about, sweetheart? Mama. Nina is my wife. Legitimate and real. I love her. Listen, honey, I understand, of course, you want to experience things. Like love. But you have to experience real love. Because, well, the thing is, what you have with Nina... Uh, I have to tell you something. This love is paid for. Mother, <laughs> you're soap operas again? I'm not lying to you. I paid Nina to pretend that she loves you. I did. Mother, you are delirious. Mm -mm. I just saw how you suffered. I decided to help, like I always do. <sighs> you should have been expected coming from you. I'm not lying. This is a lie. That's the truth, Igor. I don't believe you. It's all a lie. Mm -mm. It's all a lie. This is not true at all. It's not true, Mom! The truth. All lies. Good afternoon. Ah, the recently wed. Hello. Take me, please, to the service. I should say, and what about your children? Please, it's important. What, fed up with family life? Well, it's twice as hard out here. You must help me. Listen to me. Do you really think just because you want something that everyone's going to rush to fulfill your desire? Hi, Polina. You told me your brother is a sea cook. Does he need any help in the kitchen or at least dishwashers?
Alexei. Igor. So a holiday. Yeah. You came back. More mature. Shall we go? We have a holiday. If I don't bring you, Lydia will never forgive me. It's her birthday. Pies, guests, well, you know. And we missed you. We want you to be there. Especially Lydia. Yes, I also missed you. Mm-hmm. Lucky you to be with your wife, Alexei. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I'm filing for a divorce. Did you tell Nina? The lawyer will look for her and let her know. Why search? She lives in the village with an aunt. Struggles to make ends meet. I offered her money lots of times, but well, she won't take it. <laughs> well, my mother paid her a lot of money. That's why it happened. Uh, I don't know how she was going to pay Nina, because Nina returned all the money back to her. I saw it myself. I saw it myself, Igor. <laughs> I'm being serious about this. She really did return everything. Wait. Yes. What? Yes, yes. Returned everything. I've been such a fool. Alexei. What? Alexei, tell me what you think. Could she forgive me? I don't know. Ask her yourself. What do you mean? The guests. I told you, Nina came there as well, with all three of the children. Wait, three? Did she give birth to one more child? Hold this. <sighs> Is this email yours? No, nothing like that. This was given to me by your mother. I asked her because you need to know when your daughter's born. Daughter? My daughter. You'll wake up, Kate. What's her name? Kate. Kate.